Oh, I'm back. Sorry about that. If you were here, okay. I'm going to put the chat up and I'm hoping that some people are going to jump in and um, jump on the class. But you know what? If not, it doesn't matter because this can go up online and <clears throat> um, this can go up online and people can watch it afterwards. I'm hoping the light's okay. Maybe I should sit back a bit. Okay. <clears throat> So, um, hello and welcome to this class. Thank you for anyone who's watching this live. I've got the comments open here. So if you want to ask me any questions, then go ahead. Um, at any point, just drop the question in and then whenever there's a good point, I'll um, jump in and try and answer those for you. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Louise. I am the mother of two children and I am a full-time travel mum and a world schooling mum. What does that mean? Basically me and my children, we travel full-time and we learn at home or we learn from our travels and from the environment around us. And that has meant that we have had to, um, you know, really be particular about the kind of choices we make health-wise because it's not always easy to access the healthcare that you need at the particular moment you need it. And that's really, I mean, I've been using essential oils for a long time, but that's where my escalation into um, looking more into doTERRA as a company and as the best essential oil provider in the world started, really. I went on this journey because another family that I um, knew and was following their blog, they were using essential oils and they were using it to such success. And that's how my journey started because obviously you have similar stories. And I believe that you are here because, um, or anyone that's watching this on the replay, you are interested in removing toxins from your life and from your home. And if you're anything like me, for a very long time, I, I, even though I knew chemicals um, were bad for me and, and my body, and particularly in home cleaning, it's one of the last things that people think to just swap out of their life and it's such an easy swap. I carried on using these chemicals, not all the time. I would use, you know, go to the local whole food store, a little bit. I would go to the local whole food store and, you know, you know, buy ecological detergents and some cleaning sprays, but then I would use other things that had lots of chemicals in, so it was a kind of, a uh, 50-50. So you'll mostly be in the same position or you've already started a journey with Green Clean and you really like to know how essential oils can be incorporated into that. And it's so easy. I wish that I'd done it sooner and I wish someone had said to me, it's so easy, just do it. You know, your home will be smelling great and your body will be feeling great and, you know, it'll be great for your health. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. It's going to be about half an hour, so we're at quarter past now. If you are watching this live, if you, as I say, drop any questions in, and um, I'm going to be doing a presentation in a minute. I'm going to share my screen with you. And throughout the presentation, I'm going to talk about some of the ingredients that you might have. And I might talk about the recipes that you can use. And at the end, if you are interested, we will go through how you can get hold of some doTERRA essential oils because they're not available on the retail market and that's for a very good reason. I'll go into that later. Um, they are a very specialized company in regards to that they like to work with wellness advocates like myself who have a direct uh, relationship with their customers, which I think is great. Um, I love talking to people about how they can improve their life and how they can be more um, healthy and wholesome using not just essential oils but other things but today that's what we're talking about. So um, I'm going to jump in and share with you a presentation that I put together and then we can go through some changes that you can make in your home. They're really simple you know some of the ingredients that you might need just to think about um, are really simple things like baking soda, hydrogen peroxide, distilled water, essential oils obviously, um, um, natural salts. Uh, what else have I got here <laughs> off the top of my head? 
And that's about it really. Oh, and white vinegar, obviously. And once you have those ingredients and then you have the, the kind of containers, I'm having to put up with these at the moment, which are metal containers because I'm trying to order some glass ones from the US and I'm based in Mexico, if you didn't know that. Even though I'm, I think my audience is more in the UK and in the US, but as a world traveler, currently we are living in Mexico. Um, so I'm using these at the moment, but you can get some fantastic um, amber glass bottles, which are fantastic, I'll talk about that more later. And that's all you need really, some spray bottles, you know, um, maybe um, some things to store, you know, your bicarbonate of soda or your baking powder, a baking soda in. And at the end, I'm gonna be talking to you about the kits that you can buy, which save you a lot of money. But one of them, and the one that I signed up with when I needed to get some oils came with a diffuser. And I've got the diffuser on at the moment and it smells gorgeous. It's got this wild citrus, it's wild orange, tangerine and lemon. I wanted to feel very alert for this class and not you know, tired. So I put some nice citrus smells in there. They're cleansing, they're making the air really pure. They're making me feel invigorated. And these are some of the oils that you can use as well. So I'm just gonna jump in and put that on for you share okay let's see okay so if i go to presentation mode so hopefully you can still see me if not then you might be able to hear my voice um so we've, we've done the introductions you know why you're here cleaning with essential oils did you know it was possible and did you know that it can be some of the most potent cleaning formulas that you can get you know the citrus oils um, and the tea tree and the oregano and the thyme they're so uh, and lavender they're so antibacterial they you know you won't need any other agents or any other fillers or any other synthetic ingredients really to make up your cleaners so i'm really excited about sharing that with you um so I talked about you know what you're going to do in the class. You're going to find out about essential oils, obviously, how they work. I'm just going to do a quick overview about how they work. Because some people, maybe their only experience with essential oils has been through aromatherapy, and if that's been your only experience, then you might not understand that actually, pure grade therapeutic oils that are the ones that deterra cell are affecting your body on a cellular level and now if you think about that we are made of cells so if you can affect your cells in a positive way with an essential oil and they're not just having a like a, an effect on your moods then you know you're onto something really good you're cleaning your home with something that's going to make you feel good and make you literally your health better in the long term um, and, and we'll talk about why toxic free home as well, you know, why the carcinogens in most cleaners are so bad. It's coming out more and more now that, you know, how bad those chemicals are. And it's really um, about time that we took control of our health. We took control of our home and we said, no, no, we're not having those toxins in our house anymore. And then at the end, I said, as I say, you're not obliged to at all, but I'll talk to you about how you can get um some doTERRA oils because they're not available on traditionally in the shops. Okay, I just have to say this disclaimer, these statements in this pr uh, presentation have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration and the products are uh, not intended to diagnose, treat, cure or prevent disease. So I'm not a doctor, I can't you know, say to you use this and it's gonna help you with XXX. Um, so there you go. <coughs> i tell you a funny story. I had a very good friend come and stay and she might be jumping onto this presentation soon. Her name, actually I won't tell you her name for, for, uh, um, for reasons unknown. No, because she doesn't most probably want her name out there. Um, but she came to see me a couple of weeks ago with her three children. One of them is like a six month old baby, so cute. But uh, she came all the way from the UK to visit me in, in Mexico. And we were having a conversation. She knows that, you know, I'm an essential oil coach and this is part of what I do to, you know, support my family while we're traveling. 
and she is very much into natural health and she uses essential oils already. And she said, oh, um, what is doTERRA? Are they a, a, like a French company or a, I think she said like a European company? And this is where you shouldn't take things for granted because I just assumed that everyone knew that doTERRA are the leaders in therapeutic grade essential oils. And I shouldn't, you know, take advantage of that fact. So why doTERRA? There's three big reasons why I joined doTERRA because I've been using lots of different essential oils for many, many years, uh, some to some success, some not so great. And three big reasons for me, well, the first reason was purity and safety. If I'm using oils in my home with my children, I want to make sure that the oils that I'm using are safe. And I knew that some of the oils, sometimes like if I bought a lavender oil and I wasn't sure of the producer, it could be potentially made of synthetic ingredients. And it's not going to have the same therapeutic effect as a pure grade oil. So with that in mind, and I had to be very conscious of the fact that I needed a really good travel holistic first aid kit. I needed the best. So when I knew that doTERRA, when they first started, they knew that they wanted to stand apart from other essential oil providers because there are hundreds of them. Anyone can, you know, get essential oil, you know, put up, get a bottle and make it into an essential oil. And some of those companies um, may say they have a really good product, but actually, the sad thing is that you don't know because there's no regulating body out there saying we need to test these oils to make sure they're safe or they're pure grade so that you can use them on your body safely or with children. And with no regulating body, it means there's three different types of oils, synthetic, pure grade, and real pure grade. And I t I'll tell you why it's important. Synthetic grade is just great to smell. I wouldn't even say it's great. It's just a, it's just a smell that maybe smells like lavender or smells like lemon, but it's not having any kind of, um, you know, kind of cleansing effect on the air. Doesn't have any therapeutic benefits, and it can actually be potentially dangerous if you're using them in oil burners. It can actually change the chemical compounds, and what you're breathing in is actually carcinogenic. I wouldn't recommend using those at all. Then you have companies that say they're pure grade. And to say you're pure grade, there's no regulating body. As long as you've got a tiny amount of oil in your, uh, a tiny amount of pure grade oil, it could be anything as small as 5% and the rest could be fillers and compounds, then they can say it's pure grade. So doTERRA, when they first started out, they wanted to stand apart from that because they knew that they wanted to produce really good quality oils and they had a vision beyond just selling a product. They wanted to work with farmers. They wanted to build a community. They wanted to make sure that their product was the best. And so that they could stand tall and say, you know, we are the leaders in therapeutic grade essential oils. So they set up their own testing system. And that is how they know that every single oil that they put out there is 100% oil nothing else. For instance, people say, what else is in the, you know, what else is in the um, essential oils that, you know, the ingredients? Well, if you look at this bottle of lemon oil, there is nothing apart from 100% lemon oil in this. It's so pure and concentrated. You know, there's no fillers, there's no synthetic ingredients. That's why it's so potent. And you don't get that with I don't know what the percentage is, but it's a high percentage of um, other um, essential oil providers, and that's why they're the leaders. You, they're very transparent about their testing um, procedures. You can go on their website and find out the bat if you've got the batch number. You can find out what batch has been tested. You can find out how they do their testing. And for me, that was it. I was like, "Yep, yeah, that sold me." Then the icing on the cake for me, as I unraveled the onion, or I found out more about the company was their um, ethical, their, eth their ethics. So they have lots of different things that they do, charitable organizations and their co-impact sourcing model. Basically what that is, is they work with farmers directly to provide um, a good quality crop and also sustainable farming 
and also a good price for their crops so they're not getting undercut and they're not getting the money they deserve as farmers. And also they work with the local communities in some of these, you know, you can't grow some of these oils yourself. We're so thankful that a company can do this. They work with the local communities to provide, you know, um, health and learning initiatives in the local community. And they don't just throw the money at the problem. They are there with grassroots organisations. And again, they're very transparent about that. You can go online and find out about that. And for me, again, that was a, a great biggie. Um, and then thirdly is the community support. When I buy a product from a whole food store, I, I remember there was a store in Manchester where I lived and there was a lady called Ursula. She was fantastic. She would, you would go in and she would know everything you need to know about anything and you could talk to her one-on-one. -on -one. And I loved shopping there, but if she was not there, I wouldn't buy anything because sometimes I really wouldn't know what I was getting and some other people didn't have the product knowledge that she had. So she was worth her weight in gold. And that's why doTERRA is worth its weight in gold. When you buy a product, whether it be essential oil or an on-guard cleaning product, or you have some wellness issues that you'd like to maybe consult with someone, uh, an advocate about, you speak to a human being who has hopefully enough knowledge to help you. And that's free. You don't have to pay extra for that. I think that's pretty much uh, a really great way of any business any business model to be. So there you go, three good reasons, co-impact sourcing, community support, and the purity of the oils. If you didn't know that before, you know now. <laughs> okay, so we've talked about co-impact sourcing, and you can find out a little bit more about that. Take charge of your health, what does that mean? So I'll give you, I, I went live yesterday and told you a little bit about my story. Sometimes you can, particularly us mums, we can just go, keep going, keep going, keep going until we burn out. And that's what I did. I didn't take care of my body or my health. I was just surviving in survival mode. And um, I had a lot of emotional pressure on me. This was last year. And it got to a point where I couldn't go any lower for myself health wise or emotionally. And so the only way was to take back control of my health. I was diagnosed with adult asthma, which was pretty crippling and disabling for me because I could barely walk. I couldn't even do any kind of strenuous exercise. I had two really, I have two very vibrant young children. You know, I couldn't live like this. I couldn't carry on living um, in a way that my asthma was literally limiting me in life. And then my, my moods were affected and Really, I just needed to take back control because I felt like the doctors were just saying, take all these drugs and you'll be better. But then I took the drugs and then I was sick and then I got sad and I already had enough emotional stuff on me anyway. So if by using natural products in your home, you're not just wasting money, you're taking control of your health. You're saying, actually, I care enough about myself to invest in how my family are enjoying their health and their wellness. It isn't a secondary thought because often we put our health secondary and we only deal with it when we're sick. And that isn't really you know, useful because once you get sick, it's very hard to get back to wellness. So take control of you and your home. Be healthy, get some fresh air, make sure you, um, prevention is better than cure. So coming up to the winter months, make sure your immune system is boosted with some of the best quality vitamins and oils and your gut health is really tip top and you know look at ways you can improve your nutrition and how can you improve the quality of air in your home or the water that you're drinking all these things they all really count towards your health and um, that's like a mission you should really go on <laughs> um, and a little bit about essential oils so what have I got here I've got some peppermint essential oil here. Actually, I'm going to have a little bit of this. So we put it in my hand. I love peppermint oil. It really opens up. Just put a little one or two drops, put it in my hand. And that opens up my lungs. Peppermint is a great refreshing oil. It's so potent, like even my eyes are watering now. I didn't need two drops. 
I use that a lot if I've got a cold. I use it in um, air purifying salts, which I put in the room if I, if I want the room to kind of be spruced up. And that's peppermint oil. What's in that? Just peppermint oil. These are some of the oils that you can use in cleaning. Lavender. Lavender is obviously the queen of um, essential oils because you can use lavender for everything. And lavender has antibacterial, antimicrobial um, properties. You know, you can use it on not just your cleaning products and it smells great. You can use it for lots of, um, you know, lots of other things. Tea tree oil, again, a potent um, antibacterial cleaning. You can put that in your cleaning products and you can, you know, use it in a, a multi-purpose cleaner. And I'll talk about that in a minute. I'll give you some recipes and um, that's going to get rid of all your germs and all your bacteria. On Guard, this is the power blend. On Guard is a range of products which doTERRA have. And it's a blend of basically immune supporting oils when you someone's here it just uh, announced me who's joined our class hello who is it can i see let me see in the chats hmm whoever joined the class hello it's me i was just talking about the oils so on guard oil is my most favorite oil if i ever get to near to running out I'm getting this straight away it's going to help you through the winter months it's going to be your potent you know when you use antibacterial sprays or if you ban those which hopefully you have this is going to be your antibacterial spray you're going to use this in your cleaning products and it's going to get rid of germs it's going to make your house um you know it's going to build in your as you're kind of breathing it in and it's getting into your skin and into your bloodstream it's gonna have an effect on your immune system. And they have a whole range of products. And um, you know, if you're not into really making your own products, I'll go through a few recipes in a minute, then I would definitely tap into the On Guard range. They have hand soaps, laundry detergents, multi-surface cleaners. And I just actually had a look at a little chart today and using a whole bottle of this over a period of time is like buying 27, individual kind of antibacterial sprays like 220 mil and anti antibacterial sprays so you're getting your money's worth and it's the most potent kind of um cleaning oil that you could have i love it and it can be used for lots of other things as well you can take it internally you can get beadlets and it will help your immune system Wild orange, again, is a great cleanser. It's perfect for diffusing, cleaning the air. Another oil, which I don't have currently, but um, is on order, is Purify. If you, in the winter, we shut, well, I don't because I live here, but in Northern Hemisphere, you shut in the air. Often you don't. Hello. Hey. Hi, Super. it's Jane. Hey, Jane, how are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Hello. Can I ask you a favour? Is there a mute button on your phone so that I can? Yes. Okay. My, just okay. mind muting your phone so then. Yes, that's fine. Okay then, bye bye. Ask me, ask me, ask me questions though if you need to. Um, okay. Type okay. it in. Thank you. That's Jane who was, I was just mentioning, I was just talking about you, Jane, saying how you came here with your children. We were talking about oils. Um, yeah, so wild orange is perfect. It's a great room deodorizer. It's um, an air purifier and the actual oil that I would recommend in the winter is Purify. It's a blend and you can use it in a diffuser daily, particularly in the winter where you shut in the air and the air can um, not be so great due to you know being dried out from the central heating or if you're burning any kind of fuel and you don't open the window enough because it's too cold outside, then I would definitely use that and some Purify. And where are we? Oregano oil. Oregano oil, again, is a huge um, like antibacterial. It's just, so all the ones that I'm talking about are, are generally antibacterial agents, not agents, but you can put them in your cleaners and they'll get rid of germs. And this one will get rid of bacteria. And literally clean your home with no nasties, no off gassing, just pure 100% oil. Um, and we were just talking about the history of oils. 
a lot of people don't know that you know natural medicine has been around since the dawn of civilization and if you think about it the way that we have progressed through society is that we turn to medicine men and our modern day medicine men are pharmaceuticals and doctors so it's only now as we're kind of regressing back that we realize we have the we have the ingredients to make ourselves well treat ourselves look after our home as well naturally and we don't need any you don't even really need green clean products to be honest i mean they're very expensive but if you did want to invest in green clean then you know that's that's cool that's better than better than kind of going to the synthetic route but you can simply make all these products yourself so um when if you're new to essential oils it isn't just about aromatherapy obviously it's having an effect on your mood if you've gone for a great massage you've felt really relaxed and the oils have made you feel good as well they also have the therapeutic qualities have effect on your cells and we spoke about that briefly before when you're cleaning or when you're using these oils they're not just uh, making you feel good they're actually rebuilding and supporting the cells in your body which can only be of benefit. The reason why you get sick usually is a toxic overload in your life. And it can be stress, it can be bad diet, it can be the quality of air and the toxins around. We have so many toxins in our environment. So it's really you know, important that we look after ourselves and therapeutic grade essential oils like doTERRAs are a way of doing that. So I'm just gonna put those aside and move to the next slide. If you have any questions, um, do just chime in and ask. Okay, yeah, so we just talked over like briefly about why it's so important. I'm just gonna get my notes here because I was really bowled over by, I think we know some of this stuff. We just, we haven't got enough headspace to think about how important it is. But if, you, if you've got young children, if you start from now cutting out all those toxins, then they're going to have a really great um, health, hopefully, and a great immune system. Because over time, a toxic overload is going to turn your cells into not so great cells. And that's when you start getting really bad illnesses and cancers and things like that. So I've just got my notes here. Um, just bear with me. Okay. Okay, so we've gone over some of those things. What I was actually shocked about, and um, I, I actually feel it a lot more here because in Mexico, the, the supermarkets and the cleaners and the detergents that they use here are so powerful. They have very strong perf synthetic perfumes. And I was reading into the research just before this class, and some of those... Um, some of those scents, some of those synthetic smells that you get are carcinogenic. So basically you're breathing in, it's equivalent sometimes some of those perfumes to breathing in like 20 cigarettes, something as you know bad as that. And for me, that was really, um, it hit a note because there are points where my asthma, my, my new um, adult asthma can be really bad. And so anything that I'm bringing into my home can trigger, trigger it off. And so it was really important to me that everything that I use and everything that I try and use from now on is really good quality and not off-gassing to make me feel bad. Okay, just gonna move on here. So these are the, some of the oils. I just went through um, some of the oils that I would recommend and why they're so great and the history of them. But uh, I'll just go through them again in case you didn't get that and you joined late. Um, lavender, queen of all the oils. Um, if you've got um, if you've got a bottle of lavender, really you don't need anything else. You can just literally have your spray bottles. So, I mean, I'm using this for now, but I'm going to get some amber spray bottles, um, and you can fill that up with distilled water. You know, um, 20 drops of lavender, 20 drops of um, tea tree oil and 20, uh, maybe like half a cup, which is about 16 teaspoons full with a funnel, put your spray in and 
you have you know a good freshener there good cleaner if you want to make that into a multi-surface cleaner i would purchase a natural soap not a castile soap but a natural soap and add that to it as well and that gives it a little bit more potency and then you have a natural cleaner there another thing that i do is that i get some um i i have this in the corner in the if i was at back at home in england i'm trying to look for a dish here these are just some salts and you can do i mean you can get some epsom salts as well for your bath and just put some epsom salts with some lavender in put it in your bath but i just get a little dish a bit like this put some salts in there and you know top it up with some lavender or some citrus oils as well citrus oils are great because they can just cleanse the air every single day without you thinking about it um and there you have a great room freshener you don't need any sprays if you just want to freshen up your clothes for instance i'm a big one now of like not always washing the clothes 100 percent because they damage the clothes you're using tons of water it's unnecessary you know back in the day you didn't wash your clothes all the time sometimes they just need a freshen get one of your bottles um fill it with distilled water in all these products it's best to use distilled water you can get that from the chemist or the baby section of a good whole food store um or you can buy it online and that's because it it will be better in case there's any kind of bacteria in there um, a great one, this is for you Jane and for any mamas, if you want to fresh up the baby sheets and you, um, you know, want to make them nice and have a nice smell for bedtime, is in the morning, spray them with some lavender oil, distilled water and that will give it a nice fresh and it will, because it's not just smelling great, lavender oil, therapeutic grade anyway, will um, literally clean any kind of bacteria that there is kind of forming in there and get rid of that straight away. Um, lemon oil is a potent degreaser. Lemon oil can just cut through grease. So if you were to make a degreaser, again, I would get um, you know one of these bottles, so 20 drops of lemon oil, um, some natural dish soap. Um, I would even chuck in there some tea, tea tree oil, equal parts of tea tree oil as well to make it um, like a disinfectant. Although lemon is a great disinfectant. And if you want something with a little bit more kind of uh, abrasive action, what you can do is make yourself a paste, you know, put it in a jar and basically you get some baking powder or bicarbonate of soda. You put that in, you put about 16 teaspoons. I'm using teaspoons because I don't really know cups. Or you could just use a cup measurement. So one cup, and um, you can put in tea tree oil, lavender, and wild orange and lemon, all of those. So those four, wild orange, lemon, lavender, and tea tree oil, those four combined will be a great degreaser for the oven, for your pots and pans. You can just, I just got this great jar. It's a glass jar with a cork lid. Keep it next to your sink and you just dip it, take a bit out, and you put it in your pans, or you can put it in your, you know, if you clean in the cooker, and it's just there. And my top tip for all of this is, if you're thinking this is too much to do, just do it one time in one go. Just make the cleaners, you only need four. This could be your multi-purpose cleaner, this could be your degreaser, and then I'm gonna tell you how to make an amazing um, toilet um, cleaner, which is made with hydrogen peroxide. And then, you know, if you want a room freshener, you can add that. And that's your four products. You really don't need it much more. Um, and I'll, what I'll do is I'll put these recipes up afterwards for you as well. Um, I love wild orange. I mean, all of these oils here, uh, you can use on your body. You can use in um, healing in other ways. So if you do get any of these oils, they're great for other things. Um, thyme is great for um, if there's any kind of bacteria growing, any moulds, things like that. And also a little bit of um, oregano oil um, mixed in as well. So if you've, in the winter, if you've got a bit of a mould kind of creeping up in the corner of one of your rooms, you know, um, use your multi-purpose spray or have, 
you could just make up a new spray with distilled water, 20 drops of um, um, tea tree and oregano oil and some thyme and spray that on the mould, wipe it down with a nice um, clean cloth and that will hopefully get rid of that for that time being. Eucalyptus oils are great air purifiers as well. Um, if you've got you know, any kind of germs or if you need to um, make the air, you know, the air can get sometimes hot and sticky in the winter or you know, if you've got the windows closed, um, use some eucalyptus there. Grapefruit as well is my go-to um, oil, just like the lemon. I mean, all of these oils are so great. You could just pick, you know, four of them and, you know, lavender could be a great oil for antibacterial properties and smelling great. On guard oil would be in there with all of them. Then you could pick a citrus oil and then you could pick an, another antibacterial oil or a freshening oil like peppermint or tea tree. And then you have four or five oils which you can use all around your home or, you know, with your family and you don't have to invest, you know, I, I imagine they would last you, you know, for a long time once they're diluted and put into their bottles for up to six months. You know, you've saved yourself a lot of money, no thinking about cleaners, they're just there, you've done them yourself, you're not adding to the plastic, or you're not adding to manufacturing, these kind of things. Um, and, and you know, home's gonna smell absolutely amazing. Um, so how do you, a lot of people actually don't know how you can get doTERRA oils. And you know, you're under no obligation to buy anything today, but if I'm just gonna go through it, so you know, once and for all. Um, doTERRA aren't a retail company, so you can't just walk into Boots or anywhere and buy them off the shelf. And there's a good reason for that, and I love the reason. When you buy an oil from doTERRA, you're buying from a human being, you're not buying from a retail organization. And with that, you, you get a chance to speak to someone one-to-one. -one. And I spoke about my experience in Manchester with a lady called Ursula. She was worth her weight in gold. I would go into, I can't even remember what the shop's called, Jane would have to remind me, but I would go in there all the time and if I had a problem, I would ask Ursula and she would recommend these products and I would just buy them. You know, because I didn't really, I didn't really know anything about, you know, you know, the content of the things that I was buying. I just trusted her. And that's what you get with Terra. You're not just buying an oil or you're not just buying a product or you're not just um, kind of buying stuff. You, you are kind of getting the support of someone like me, which is a wellness advocate. And it's all free. You know, once you buy your oil or if you have any problems in the future, you can say, can you help me? my little girl's not sleeping, I need some help, or I have a bit of a skin rash, what do you recommend for this? And then hopefully you get someone. And also there's online support um, with doTERRA. You don't have to just um, speak to me one-to-one -one or another wellness advocate. And they have like a wholesale membership. So instead of just buying retail costs, so you could, you could just go on today and buy an oil you could go and buy your lemon oil, for instance. I wouldn't recommend doing it that way because you're going to pay extra. Or you could buy a wholesale membership. You basically, I think that's $35 or £35. That gets you a year's membership and up to 25% off everything all year. So, you know, go and have a look at the catalogue. Go and have a look online at what they have. It's not just oils, but oils are the basis of their company and their um, ethics. Um... And when you sign up to a wholesale account, you get those discounts, you get access to me or someone else. Um, and then every time you buy, you get like Tesco club card points, you get points with Terra. Um, if you're in America and watching this, you don't know Tesco's, it's like Costco. You get points which you can use on your next oils. And generally you, you get, you know, um, you know, if you're buying oils on a regular basis, you get oils, you know, maybe every time you shop. Another way is you can buy a kit. Now, this is how I, I, I knew about doTERRA and I knew I kind of loved the oils. I'd been given some testers and I had spoken to um, the, the people that I actually enrolled with now a few times and they were never under any kind of pressure. You must buy. They were always there for me. But I didn't know. I wanted to buy lots of different things. I couldn't really afford it at the time. So... 
I waited until there was a sale and then I got this particular kit which is on the screen if you can see it it's called the home essentials kit and it's absolutely amazing it comes with a great diffuser I use this diffuser every day twice a day it's never broken it has a four-hour setting um, it's really easy to clean and it comes with 10 15 mil bottles of oil and the oils that I'm some of them I'm holding now I bought these over six months ago and I still have these oils now because and I use them a lot because there's so much of them and a little goes a long way you don't need a lot so 10 of the best oils it's the most economical way of buying it and that's why when there was a sale on I snapped it up and I've never regretted that I just thought yeah that was a great deal and actually this month um, in the UK and in Europe I think they have the same deal which is 20% off all kits um, and then you get free wholesale membership as well so that, that kind of you get like you get like I think up to a hundred pounds in free savings because you're not paying your membership and you get all these savings on the kit and you can go online there's the, the best kits are the family essentials kit it has the best oils for your family or the home essentials kit. There was a, there's others that you can have a look at, but those are the two that I would recommend. There you go. There's the home essentials kit. That's the end of my presentation. I'm going to, um, I am going to stop the slideshow. How do I do this? Stop. No, uh, stop share. Okay. And Okay, is there any, before we go, um, my kids are swimming in the pool with their, with their babysitter and they keep knocking on the door. But um, is there any questions about anything, cleaning? If you've missed anything at the beginning, is there any questions you'd like to ask me? Or if you're interested in signing up for a wholesale account or you wanna buy some oils after, I'm gonna be here for another 25 minutes. You can drop me a question in Facebook or here or if you want to ask me anything live now, then now is the time to do it. Um, no. Hey, hey, Louise. Hello. Hey, Jane, yes, how can I help? Yes. Did I miss a bit about cleaning the toilet? Oh yeah, so there's a great recipe. Okay, let me go back to my notes. Thank you. There's a great cleaner um, you can use using hydrogen peroxide, which is on top of all the oils you'll be using is like the bomb of toilet cleaners. And just here, just bear with me, Jay. Okay, so the recipe, I'll, do you know what I'll do actually as well? I'll put these recipes up and so you can access them as well. But the, the greatest recipe here we've got is half a cup of baking soda. So, you know, I would, you know, go to the local Whole Foods store and see if they have that, you know, in um, the unicorn, maybe. Um, half a cup of liquid dishwashing soap. Now, it can't be Castile soap. It has to be a natural soap. Um, half, a quarter of a cup of hydrogen peroxide. Now, if you don't know these measurements, you can just transfer them online, um, like into teaspoons, or if you have a measure. And then 30 drops of eucalyptus essential oil, and then a quarter of a cup of, because it's a toilet cleaner, you don't need to use distilled water. You can just use uh, any old tap water or bottled water if you want. That's the recipe. So the hydrogen peroxide is the killer ingredient in there on top of the oils because the, the eucalyptus oil makes it smell great. Um, it's also refreshing, it refreshes the air in the room and the hydrogen peroxide cuts through any kind of dirt and grime and it's also um, antibacterial as well. It cuts through any germs, you know, you could get a cloth and do the toilet seat as well. So that'll be good. It does say here that once you've made that, let it stand for 20 minutes so to like settle maybe. That particular one, I would actually, um, I would make that in, I don't know how you could get this, but maybe I, I would make it in a jar like this with a big open top or because the spray would be quite thick or this is a plastic bottle, but you can, if you go online, and 
Emma's not on here, I think, but she has a great link to a shop, or you might know a shop that has bottles where you can squeeze out the um, ingredients because it's going to be a little bit thicker. Did that help? Any more questions? That's great. Thank you very much. No problem. I'll give um, that a try. Yeah, I do. I do. I use it actually now. It's only one I've just started using recently because for me, doing some of the cleaning, you're always kind of dubious about the germs that might lurk around, especially having boys in the family. And so you don't know if you like the, the oils that you're using, are they enough? I think the combined ingredients makes it um, a great cleaner. Brilliant. Thank you. No problem. It was lovely to hear from you. And thanks for dropping in. How are the boys? Are they okay? Yes, fast asleep. Yay. Okay, if um, no one's got any more questions, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop off um, and I'm going to leave the link in the comments and I'll put the recipes up as well. And I'll put, uh, this class is actually going to be recorded and I'll put that up because I think some people had to put children to bed and things like that. Um, but thank you. Thank you for coming in and joining me. And um, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.